Welcome back to part 37 of my Western Roman Empire Let's Play, Total War Attila. The winner of the Steel Series Aerox 3 Gaming Mouse and Quick Prism Mouse Mat giveaway is Philip Golding. Congratulations, I've responded to your comment on part 34 of this series with instructions on how to claim your prize. Big thanks to Steel Series for sponsoring these giveaways and giving me the opportunity to run them over the past few weeks. I hope you guys have enjoyed the opportunity. Hopefully in the future I can run more giveaways with Steel Series. Hopefully some international giveaways as well. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed them. Congratulations again to all the winners. Kind of building on this thing as we've been talking about gaming peripherals the last few weeks. Question for you guys today is let me know down in the comment section what what is your current keyboard headset and mouse and which is your favorite of those let me know down below so picking things up we left them last time we're pretty much at the start of a new turn i was trying to decide what i was going to do with my army and my fleet whether i was going to sell them over towards the geats and uh, sack and raise them or sack and subjugate them vast majority of you guys said sack them and then subjugate them because then you'll get some tribute i am a little bit wary of that because i do find the ai isn't the most reliable most trustworthy but yeah, let's give it a go. We do need some more income, so tribute from them would be good. We're not at war with the Jutes. Uh, we could always go and attack them and quickly subjugate them as well. But uh, I'll see what the situation looks like when we head on over there. Uh, Camladonum is just about okay. One army to bounce around to deal with all the rebellions, though. Will that be enough? I guess that we want to move against the Geeks quickly, though, so it's going to have to be. And uh, what have we got here? Spread. Yeah, do that. Spread religion. Um, what does zeal do? Yeah, let's just power up all of those for now. Should help a little bit. This is going to be a rebellion in the next turn, I'd have thought. Garrison's just about okay. We can always bring that one down, though. Right. Um, yeah, let's pop the army on the navy. And then force march. We don't want to hang about. Go, 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 go. Jutes were at war with the Franks, but I believe they've now pieced out. Who are they at war with? Oh, no, this is at war with them. Was it the Geats that were at war with them as well? Was it the Danes? I swear someone pieced out with the Franks. No, they're still at war there, so they're going to be busy there. At war with the Alamans as well. And the Langobards. So, yeah, that's good. The Jutes are, Jutes are busy. I wonder if we could subjugate all of them. Maybe. Might be a might be a bit too too much for us to achieve. I do want to reclaim Ireland from the Abdanians as well, but I think we'll take things so we'll secure the mainland for now. Um, what could we build over here? Uh, Carinian probably over Camladonum just because that's more likely to get attacked. So you've got a decent bit there. You need to recover a little bit, but yeah, let's do um, Carinium. Get that going there. We defeated one of the Vandal armies. So, in fact, actually, this one should pull back up here and go deal with those rebels. So, we'll turn you back around next turn because we brought Stilico over to Taraco to try and deal with these guys. Once Stilico is dealt with them, we'll pull him over to Carthage, deal with the rebellion there, and then prepare to face the Sassanids who we're now at war with. They declared war on us last episode. That's going to be fun. So you've got Roman separatists over there, Eastern Roman separatists, and what's left of the Eastern Roman Empire is really in bits. They've got three regions left. Um, and Dacia's got uh, Constantinople. Those guys have got five regions. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I don't know if will they ever reform the empire if one gets knocked out. Will the separatists kind of claim it? Don't know. Africa, you are slowly but surely improving. Speak as a friend or if we could get trade with you, that'd be fine. Again, I'm not worried about securing all of this just yet. Eventually, we will. Eventually, I'm planning on... I don't know if I'm planning on a full map conquest, but I'm planning on sort of conquering most of our what was our Western territory and obviously kind of securing all of Northern Africa. I might kind of push just to Constantinople and then cut things off there. I don't know. We'll kind of see... We'll see how we do, how things uh, progress. What's going on over there? Okay, yeah, this army, I probably need to do something with it. Sat Aquilia at the moment, we don't have really too many enemies over there. I feel like I should probably keep one army over here just while we're at war with the Alamans, though. But then maybe I should start pushing against them. And then, I don't know, sack, sack them and allow the Swabians to move on in. I don't think one, two of you are saying move the one from Aquilia sort of down to go harass Sassanids. I don't think I want to push against the Sassanids yet. To be honest, I'd prefer to stay on the defensive uh, until we've dealt with 
with the Huns properly because I don't want to be caught a world away and then need to be pulled back here. So I guess if anything, maybe maybe even eventually another force here and push against the elements and kind of secure sort of the uh, the German states there. That might be one thing to, to try. I can I can definitely leave Aquilia. I could pull you over. Let's pull you over to Mediolanum, actually. Because Aquilia is enough of a rock to hold or at least solidly stop enemies pushing on through. Mediolanum, you are going to have a rebellion. Uh, we can repair your waterworks. That's good. Um, actually, I'm going to jump on out because I feel like we should let that rebellion happen and then deal with it. So that's what that army will do. Uh, some of you guys are saying with technology, Lionheart, be careful because once you research past a certain point in the civic stuff, you'll start losing it. I am using a mod that prevents the loss of legacy uh, tech. So it's stuff like your aqueducts and things like that. I believe that's what you guys are talking about. So um, yeah, we shouldn't have any of those issues due to that mod, thankfully. Uh, Narbo, you're in bits. I can't do anything about that. Everyone has been move set sail um there is gonna be a rebellion down this i think i should move to lindum because then i can yeah counter it much easier let's end the turn i need to put guys in offices that's what i need to do there was one actually there's two more things i need to do offices you're gonna go hit uh palma okay didn't that hold have a really good defense last it did because it's got ships <laughs> yes here we go we'll fight this one um yeah, I need to go through all of my active generals and make sure they've got the best possible equipment traits uh, equipped. I know I've got a couple of campaign map movement range ones that are just sat there, and I need to make sure I put them in offices again as well. I just don't want to. I don't want to deteriorate my influence too much and lose the sort of fine balance we've got in the uh, uh, control and uh, dominion uh, mechanics at the moment. Oh, I've got a ramming ship. Beautiful. I'm going to go ram your general straight away. It's a shame that it's foggy. Oh, we do have a barricade. Um, that one could go pick off the those guys over there. But mainly you'll just screen these guys. Go and shoot them to bits. Um, God, it is real foggy. can barely see anything. So they're all, they're all coming there. They've got a couple of units on land, though. Mustn't forget about the cavalry coming in. Uh, what map is this? I've totally got my head spun around now. Um, right, so cavalry. Look, it's this it's this one the way I'm normally fighting that way. Okay. Um, so there's that one over there to think about. If they're going to land, like that barricade down there is going to be the most practical I'll look for. So seeing as they're over here, hopefully they, they push through here and they, they come attack here. Probably move into that gap actually once uh, the battle starts. So you guys go there. Legio, just go over here. And my cavalry, I think I'll probably just, yeah, keep them in the center for now until we see where they're all coming from because my main concern is going to be the naval engagement to start with. Start. Oh, that fog is thick. Very atmospheric though. And seeing the, the sails on the horizon. Actually, get off the axes. You go after them there. Ramming speed. Here we go. Boom. Go hit that one over there because that's going to be burnt down fairly swiftly out of thought. Enemy general's dead. Don't hit my own ship. You're going to hit my own ship. But that's fine. We're still going for them. Oh, we're not going to get a big hit here. Oh, we are. Perfecto. That one's down. Go hit those guys. Where's that cavalry coming? Well, they did go around here. Good thing I had you guys in Testudo. Well, they had more cavalry, that's why. You've got them. Nice. 
come back. God, this fog is thick. Oh, it's camels. Mercenary camel warriors. Cool. That one down, nearly. It's gone. Playing your ammo. Head on over here. Where's the other one? Don't worry, I've told you to replenish your ammo. You got this. Here we go, here we go. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Come on, smack him. Nice. Beautiful. Turn them around like that. Bring that down. That one's on fire. Yeah, hit that one. That one's down. No, but sometimes you can kind of just gently, gently tap them, and that's enough. Well, this is this is finishing off the vandals and very nicely. They're going to try and land. They're going to be on fire any second. That's that one down. I love it so much. That's down. Hit that one. Go hit that one. They're all trying to land now. Volley. These guys have got stuck. Yeah, oh, they've all landed now. That sucks. No, oh, no, they got off just as it was burning. Lucky sods. Actually, I'm going to need to fire it well, aren't you? Cavalry down here. Along with the Legio. Sweep along. Let's move after them if we can. Trap him this way. That's glorious. Yeah, cavalry keep going. General landing there, though, not such a great idea. Love how that did damage the camels because it's they're having to. Oh, it's it's doing that thing where the ship sails through the rock. Yeah, gotta love that. Gotta love that. Glitch. Pick them all off so that not many of them survive. Go 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 go. Bring them all down. Take these guys out, and we can chase after the uh, the Germanic bows over there.
Come on, Cav. Camels are going to get away. These guys might as well, actually. Oh, no. Should catch him. Boom. Munch, 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 munch. There we go. Take out the camels. Should then be able to wipe out the whole army and that'll be the faction gone. Which just frees up Stilico. We don't have to worry about Hispania. Oh, but we still need to bring him over in the first place. That's the whole reason why they're running away. Because he's been chasing with a big old strong force they know they can't deal with. And I thought they could quickly grab a settlement. Maybe, I don't know, lock it down, build up a base. Nope. Why don't they just volley? Nope. Not bothered. Okie dokie. Two of them left there. Four there. That shouldn't be enough for them to survive. That should be a solid smashing. Ah, damn it. Some of that initial cavalry survived. But they're, they're totally dead now. We will need to chase them down, though. Just in case. Oh, the Saxons are back. They're still going. Ah, uh, now they're dead. Thanks, Swabians. I mean, I knew they still had their territories, but I didn't know they had their... I thought the Swabians had cut, sort of cut them off. What you doing, Geats? Trying to cause some religious... Uh tensions there. Huns must be raising something because they're taking a long time to think about stuff. Guys, uh, everyone having a good old think about the next moves? Of course, you're hitting me over here with a force that I should be able to deal with. Yeah. Uh, i just make sure we try and kill every single one of them. Barricade here. Because they're all deployed over there. Cavalry. We'll wait for this to come on in. Have them there. Yep, there we go. Go there. And another group. Go there. Don't know if the cavalry will charge straight on in or not. But we'll pop that there. And if they do get a bit further, Caltrops to cover there. Slow them all down. You guys go that way. Spears go that way. And the ship that comes in, those units defend this point. Temples. Send them all the way around this way now. <laughs> Let's go there. The enemy approaches. Yeah, they're coming. Let that cavalry come in to die. Yep. Now I can move out with my own cav. You guys got wrecked. 
Oh, they're coming back. I do just want to make sure. Just thinking, I want to make sure they die completely this time. We want to wipe out this army. Just bring them down completely. So I'll keep my cavalry just to chase them down. Only two of them. Okay, that, that unit is definitely dead. I'm going to go off those slingers over here. Pull these guys back this way. Mainly because I don't want to go... I think they probably triggered all of these now, which is good. Bring them down. We're getting hit by the javelins. really done a number on them. Wow. Barricades at 31% damage. That's fine. Yeah, get the leg here there to Plumbata. Here they come. You guys better run. Death is coming. Much death is coming. goes up there. The men's resolve is failing. Yeah, Plumbata right into their faces. Should be able to get most of your volleys off. Come on, do it again. Here we go. Oh, that was a huge volley. Yeah, those guys are nasty. Go. Which way is quicker? If they're going to come through this way or not? Chase them down, though. Go round. Cut them off. Oh, yeah, the Caltrops. Ah, I didn't think of that, did I? Just chase them away. So I can get my cavalry over. Alright, we can fast forward it now. They're broken. Uh, want to make sure they all go. Mainly chasing down those guys. General's dead, so they're not going to survive. Oh, that one's on one. Out you go, Cav. Hunt them down. Three, two, one. Smush. Bye-bye. All right. Separatists dealt with. Hopefully. Yep. Bye-bye. Get up from that. They're still alive. Still got some separatists somewhere. Rats. Uh, yeah, and no, I want this to fall. So <laughs> that is a lot. I'm going to just auto resolve it. You take it. I don't want to hold on to this one. Got enough cab there, guys. Yay. Die.
Lovely. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Don't have any ships. What is our defense looking like? Mm, probably. Probably doable. Okay, they're over there. That's fun. Let me go for the barricade out here. Pop you there. Do that there. Actually, wait, no, wasn't it? We do that there. And then we pop the Legio here to be able to javelin in. Plus, they can flip around and defend this side if they send forces in that way. Cavalry can go hide there. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so have you guys off our will for now. Yeah, you guys just chill there. Beautiful. Uh, I mean, they can flank around us if they really want to, but uh, yeah, a bit silly. They're going to get maybe killing pits through the street, but no, okay, that, that'll do there. Um, are they going to split some off and go that way? No idea. No. Don't know if that's actually in enough of the... Oh, yeah, I can just get in there. Beautiful. I think there's less of them, but that's okay. Um... Cavalry's definitely going to, enemy cavs definitely going to try and charge through that way. And if not, if they try and go this way instead, we'll put caltrops. I know they can go around there. And if they are going to come around here, we'll slow them down first. Gives me time to respond and react. Cool. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Got multiple cavalry units, actually. We're hiding the trees over here. Quickly. Yeah, nah. they thought about chasing me and they were like, no, we can't see them. We don't know where to go. Okay, so I'm first going to need to deal with these guys over here. So bring the Legio up. Thought this might happen. But that's okay. Which means you guys just pop across there. If you please. Is Capri actually being smart and not just diving straight on it? No, they're going to try and capture the tower. In a goofy way. A tower has been destroyed. Will they get a volley off? Will they get a volley off? Will they get a volley off? They will. Beautiful. Will they get a second volley off because they're moving so slowly through the stone? No. There we go. Have go. Shred the slingers. Right, hi guys. I know they're going to try and flank me with those guys. That's why I have to win over here. Just ignore the general and go after the Kira Ballista. That's a drone over here. Come on, chase me, chase me. That's it. Just clear that away. Come on. Come on. And move, 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 move. Move, 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 move. And kill. Oh, we have shredded their slingers. Beautiful stuff. I know that general is a coming. I'm going to stay attacking that one until it is gone. And then we'll get out of there. Yeah, yeah he's fine though. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. And in fact, I'm going to bring you archers up here now to go shoot them, seeing as they're not coming for that barricade, which is good. Get away. Yep, 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 yep. No, totally didn't mean to do that. 
didn't realize they had their common sense of spears. I was hoping I could throw a volley. My bad. Keep that general there. I'll come around and hit him from behind. Oopsie. But that general's going to go for the barricade now, isn't it? But of course. He's charging on through the stone. Not sure if we'll do anything. But we got to give it a go. Fire in there because we'll hit the general as well. And charge. Chop stone, chop stone, chop stone. Oh, they didn't affect me. Nice. Beautiful. Smash them. Yeah, that's glorious. That is a glorious. And they're up against spears. We're going to stay engaged because they're all gone. Smush, 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 smush. Don't worry about that, Legio. Quick, run. Go, spears, go. They're doing a cheeky flank. Cheeky boys. How dare they? Are they broken? Muha ha. Okay, just form back up here if they want to run around there. Quickly, formation. There you go, got them pinned. Come on, keep shredding them. And in you go. Smush! Thank you. Give him a darn good darting. Up over there. Do you think we've got to chase them down to completely wipe them out? I think we've triggered all these pits by the looks of it. There's a few over there we haven't got. Okay, go chase them down before they get off the field. Go, 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 go. Munch, 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 munch. Bring them down. Dart them. Put it back. We have gained the upper hand. Actually, yeah, there's stakes there, aren't there? Double time. You guys form up this way. Brace for this. But they don't have as many troops to fully form it up. So I think they will struggle. Yeah, they're going to break. Yep, there's the break. There's the break. Let's completely finish them off though. I don't want them rebels coming back. Lovely stuff. That's what we want to see. 
Chase them down now, please. They're dead. Actually, have they lost their general? Ooh, I don't know. I think they have. Army lost. I haven't actually said general's gone. Okay, I'm a little bit worried by that. Go get the general first. Just make sure he's gone. So I don't know if the, just the general's alive, he should survive, I would have thought, because he's a character. Go, go, go. It's, he probably is already dead, but I've just missed the notification of it. Yes, that's fine then. Woo. Woo. It's all right then. Come on, cavalry. Archers are keen for your blood. Oh, now you there's one run off that way. Are those just far are those just are they no they, they are them. I thought they might be farmers. Why have they why have you guys split off like this? Your wallies. How can you split off like that and just completely break up? There's still ten of them. I don't know if I don't know what the threshold is in Attila. I really don't. You'd think that'd be enough, but that could also just be the last little ant that somehow manages to scurry away. So, what's a few more seconds just uh, watching my cavalry slowly but surely rush across. Here they come. He's going to get the infantry or the cavalry first. The infantry's got that one. He's a dead boy. Oh, and they've got all of them. They've got like these three, but that after killing that lot, that will be enough. I, don't, I think under seven is definitely safe. There's still one over here. I'm just going to run you through them until you kill them. Because there's no way you're getting to the other side of the map in time. Come on. He's running past the apple tree. Is it an apple tree? No, it's just got flower on it. Flowers on it. Go, go, go. Oh, they got away. Dang it. Please don't tell me that was like enough of them to survive. That'd be really frustrating. They've got 24 remaining. Yeah, they're dead. Good. Oh, that gurgling. Lovely. Oh, what's this? Duty calls. What happened? Natural... No! Stilico! No! After all that, he sailed across the sea. How old was he? No! Stilico! Forever a brave warrior of Rome. You shall be missed. F's in the comment section for Silico. Aye, aye, aye. Well, that gives me a, a new title for this one. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be someone that goes, spoiler, Lionheart. I'll be like, yeah, yes, it is a spoiler, though. Well, ten, yes, it is a spoiler. If I call it the, say, the end, Stilico's end, perhaps. But how did it end? That's what you don't know. That's what I'm not revealing. Natural causes. There we go. Or at least that's what the not... That's what the title won't reveal. Uh, Master Planner, uh, what have you? You've already got Zeal Ray's Banner. You minus one cunning because you're not quite right. Um, I think I'll just go for. I'm going to go for this guy, Figulus, rather than Denta. Figulus. Right, let's give you the extra movement range. Let's give you um, ba -ba 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 -ba, morale for ranged infantry. So we've got a lot of range. Upkeep cost for melee unit. Oh, yes, that one. Lovely. 
cunning. Uh, yeah, more cunning wouldn't be terrible. Let's give him that one. Battlefield runner. Let's get us through that as quickly as possible. So we can get night battles again. Um, so yeah, how old was he? 51. Oh yeah, what was that? Hang on, what was that mission? Mission failed. Drums of war. Yeah, I know. Didn't want to declare war on the mark lands. New mission. Raise an army. Um, I'd love to, but really is no point in me doing that right now. Um, so yeah. I feel like um, we should rename this to Stilico Legion. I think that's how you spell it, right? Just check. What happened to your wife? Did your wife go give up as well? She's not going to stick around. I mean, you did. You'd have a daughter. You didn't have any true-born sons or any sons at all. Actually, no bastard sons either. Um. So yeah, we probably want to adopt this uh, this new boy in if he proves to be useful. Think about maybe bringing you in as well. You're in that tree. I can put you up here. Um, I can put... No, I can't put some of these guys in. They can go as military count, though, can't they? I don't want... Uh, is that replenishment commanded force? No, there's no point there, then. You're all governors. You are not, though. Where are you? Oh, you're in charge of that one, are you? I see. I see. Uh, wait, you should go in here, then. Um... You're leading that. You can go in there. And you need more influence. Uh, but I think we will eventually adopt you. That's fine. So Silico... Oh, we don't have an heir now, do we? Uh, yes, because Silico was my heir. I guess it's going to have to be... Plucky Sextus Perinius. He's our next kind of famed champion. Melee attack plus 10 the commanded force. That is quite nice. How much does that cost him? Cost him 51 influence. It's these ones that I'm sitting in, but I think if we level up all these, then they can go into that Master of Soldiers slot. So let's make him a Supreme Commander. Promote him. Ah, so you're promoting, promoting him to officer. We can't make him air just yet. Um. Either that or we wait for his son, the Emperor's son, to actually come of age and give him the Earth. But if we don't have one designated, isn't, I'm assuming that's pretty bad. Will the game automatically choose one for us? Hang on, let me, let me cancel that action. Let me just declare air. So it's immediate. There we go. And then, Supreme Commander. Sextus Perennius. Or were you actually was sex? No, Sextus was Sextus was adopted in, wasn't it? Oh no, Sextus Sextus married in. So actually, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Sextus married in to Silico's daughter. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Right, yes, that's all good. We want that rebellion to kick off. Um, you guys might as well go in, in camp stance. Get to use those uh, Honic horse archers. That'd be fun. There's still that on our border, but other than that, that's fine. The last of the Vandals over here. Hunt them down. They're, they're going to run. I just can't quite reach them. I might need to raise a fleet to finish them off. We shall see. Uh, you head over here. There is... Actually, don't go in the settlement completely. But if you're in the region, I think you've got a chance of it happening, don't you? Uh, local industry... Yeah, I know. I'll get all that repaired in a bit. Ready, willing, yeah, can you do anything to stop that one or convert it? No. I think it's spies, isn't it? It is spies. We need more money. Then I was gonna, I was gonna convert that, wasn't I? Because that's causing public order. It's giving me a bit of wealth from commerce, though. I can convert it over to this one. But that does paganism, actually, doesn't it? I seem to remember that being part of the uh, trade-off. Yes, it does. But we do have you there. So how are we looking? And Christianity is slowly rising. You guys, I think we're saying 
Chapel. Yeah, just leave it. Leave what we've got there. Don't bother rebuilding the Linden one. Just start going for the uh, rally fields. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. They've, they, oh, okay. They've got a proper, proper Navy and they brought their army back up real swift. Real swift like. Now, what is the garrison there like as well? Yeah, pretty decent. Um, so we're going to need these guys to go smash all that. Although, I wonder if they might come out and attack me. Ready for orders. Hard on the oars, you men. I feel like, is it safer you to can. take them? I mean, I've done it now. I've separated them. Oh, wait, this one can actually then move a bit more. I'll keep you together. Ready for orders. But if they were on that one, then we'd only get these guys deployed, wouldn't we? I don't think we'd get these guys as well, whereas now we get both. Uh, obviously, we need to focus on the Navy first, but then we could at least... Take out them. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, that's all that there. Where have we got other bits? Why is it not up? So they're, they're still here. That's why we've still got the separatists. Um, I need another spy here to be able to see what's going on. But let's just bring you over here if I'm going to press against the Alamans or something like that. Right. Uh, I was going to go through my journal to make sure they've all got the best equipment, wasn't I? Campout movement range. You've got that one. We've already sorted you out. Ready for orders. Movement range. Ready for orders. Hilarious. I don't think there's any more movement range stuff. No. What you've got is all fine there. Ready for battle. We hunger for battle. Um, I don't know if they'll strike Londinium straight away. We need that to build up for a little bit longer though. If we jump on out, minus 12, which we don't want. Tusis is going to have a rebellion in two turns, so probably got to strike it next turn. I'm going to have to come out, actually, aren't I? Jump on out in there and then jump back and try and pacify as we got. Where's the fountain? We've got all that sorted. We're getting the, the governor's house. That should give us a big boon. We need to get a governor's house in here. They need to have higher population. Or we could get rid of the rally field, actually, for the governor's house. That's what we're doing. We'll get rid of it there and we'll build the rally field here for now. Get the governor's house in. Yep, 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 yep. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Let's end the turn. Okay, they've gone to land there. Could give the could give Hispania a target actually. Get them to finish them off. Or at least help me pinch them. Eats what you're thinking. The sailor attack me. Are you going to run away? You're having a big old think. Hogs are turning in the AI's mind. Do they sail out and attack? Or do they stay put? Because they know I'm going to attack. They have decided to stay put. Oh, Hispania is moving in the right direction, though. I think they're already at war with... I'll, I'll give them a war target, if not. That's it. Come back on land to die. Finally. Oh, you're not going to get... Ah, uh, he survived. It's infuriating. I probably should have fought that, but... I'm so tired of fighting them all the time. Uh, I'm going to have to fight here at Carthage, though, aren't I? I'm 
gonna have to. I've got one one cavalry unit. Uh, another defense of Carthage. We will open with that next time, but then hopefully we'll be able to sail on into the Geats and uh, sack them and raise them. Not sack them, raise them. Sorry, sack them and subjugate them. Well, that's my plan next time. Until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take Prime to the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclocks UK. Till the next one, ciao for now.